How you doing, everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Uh, this morning, my son came over to give me a hand uh, working on the internet. We're we're going to be working on the internet. Uh, we don't really have good internet here, and uh, I bought the Starlink. We're going to be getting it set up. Well, we come into the garage, and he said, "Hey, what was you burning?" I said, "Well, yesterday I was working on this guy." And I was on that table right over there. And I did use a little bit of heat, but I was over there. And he said, well, I smell something that was burning. And I said, well, the only thing I know is I took some propane. I heated this up and, and uh, took the paint off of it. But mind you now, I'm right here. This is where I'm at. This is where I'm working. And we went over there to look for a clamp. And I'm going to take you over here and I'm going to show you what he's seen and what he was smelling. So this could have been very bad. Now, you remember Julie and I were working on the windows. And we were working on the table. Well, we was putting the uh, linseed oil, which I have right over here. Milled linseed oil. Right here. And we was ripening it off with... These rags right here, and we were putting them in a pal right here. Now, if you look at that, this is burnt. This is ash. Look at this. Now, down here on the floor, this is burnt. That's burnt paper. This could have been bad. Look what it's setting on. This is the wood for the front of the barn dominium. This is the board and batten. Look at this. It actually got hot enough to char this here. Now, I know for certain when I was way over there working, no sparks got over to here. Now, if any of you guys know Will this stuff build up enough heat to burn if it was just wet rags? Now, when Julie put that on the, she put the linseed oil on the windows, she put it on heavy with a brush. And you guys remember me talking about that. When we wiped it off, the rags had a lot of linseed oil on them. And we were putting them in that pal right here. And that's the only thing that's burnt. I know this stuff is flammable. But will those rags build up enough heat to actually catch on fire by themselves? This is scary because I know for a fact I didn't have any heat over here. I'm probably 15 to 20 feet away from here. I know I didn't bring anything over here hot. But this guy is melted. It's, it's, darn, it's toasted. Look at this. Look down inside. Look. It's literally just ash this thing got hot enough to burn so we're gonna get this out of here and if you guys have any information on whether that stuff will burn I would really appreciate it we have to do the whole entire house with this linseed oil house come that caught on fire do you guys know I could use your help because we're gonna have to be super careful now with these rags we cannot keep them I have those rags. Those same rags are in that garbage can over there. So we're going to need to get the garbage out and get this stuff cleaned up and no more rags in the garage like this. Okay, Julie came out to the garage and went over this boiled linseed oil can. And uh, this is what she found. May cause spontaneous combustion. I did not know that rags like that will combust now they do sell a can a metal can you can put these in I guess and you put the lid on it and it doesn't get any oxygen so it won't burn but we were so so lucky that it didn't burn the the shop down sitting on that wood pile um, very very scary stuff so I hope that this video helps somebody because if I would have seen a video like this uh, definitely would have not put those rags up there. I would have actually I, if I didn't have a metal can I would have took them out to the burn barrel 
because I have a burn barrel where I burn papers and I would have put them in it because it would have made a whole lot more sense uh, so don't forget this stuff will spontaneously combust and it scared me guys to be honest with you not good so, I would like to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Until next time.